and then you know so my son's going through it um, the same thing and then so I wanted to capture a lot of the nuances um, I listen to other kids like there might be a kid who is Japanese and they call him Chinese like even though he's been there since kindergarten with them they're like oh yeah you're Chinese and you like this and you're Chinese it's like I keep telling you've known me for 13 years I'm Japanese you know or calling students by the wrong names um, in my kids school they used to call two of the black teachers by the wrong names even though they look they had shaved heads that was the only thing or you know some of the other teachers oh how's your baby I'm like no that's not me that's it's the other black teacher you know <laughs> who is five foot four I'm six feet with short hair she's five four with curly hair um, so then those are things I kind of put in here but then I knew if I was going to tackle that much stuff that I had to make it really funny because if I didn't make it funny you know I didn't want I wanted to to be like you read it and you laugh and then you read it again and go oh that's kind of interesting you know what I said that to someone the other day and I didn't realize it was offensive let me see this or someone said that and then just kind of you know the nuances because what I tried to do was like no one is always right and no one is always wrong you know because uh, I know like growing up and having like um, you know like when you see parents in a lot of movies and books they're idiots, like especially the dads, you know? You know, anytime you see a dad with a wrench, you know, a fire's about to start, you know? He could be fixing the plumbing on the sink and somehow the sink explodes, and I'm like, and I'm like, but these are adults writing this, then we, un we, then we worry about like, wonder why, like our kids don't respect us, or think that you can do anything. I'm like, well, all the shows, you know, like, all right, I'm gonna do this, here I go. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.